Yeah, okay, so you can't always just contribute channel points to the totem, okay? I know it's it sounds strange that it's out of stock when you're just donating points for nothing. Um, but just think of it like, you know, sometimes there's like high tier Patreon rewards people have. That's like, oh, you know, if you subscribe at this level, you get a, a private Skype call with me. And then they're like out of stock. And you're like, what the hell? How can you be out of stock? It's a service. It's not a good. It's not like you got to go down into the Skype mines and, and mine a new, uh, mine a bunch of Skype coin or something from personal experience. Can I say something? Okay. Everybody, well, I don't know if everybody made fun of it or whatever, but people found out that Bob Odenkirk, famous actor, comedian, and the star of Better Call Saul, was following a, a foot and shoe fetish Instagram page, okay? He didn't really get, I, like people were not really shaming him. They weren't saying like, oh, and there were lots of memes, you know, like Walter White in the car handcuffed. Bob, Bob, your Instagram following is public, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Can we just leave Bob Odenkirk alone? He had a heart attack last year. Um, he's old. Like, I'll take that one. Just let if he if he wants to be in the feed, let him be in the feed. Who can, he's old. He's old. Like, not. I'm not saying that as an insult. I'm saying it as like a. Well, not really a compliment, but if, if you're 60 years old and you can't openly be horny about whatever stuff makes you horny, then, like, what was the point of the previous 60 years that you lived, man? I did see... So, I, I... I've only recently been introduced to the Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul um, meme subreddit. I don't know if you guys are on the same page with me here. One of the best posts I saw was um, Mike Ehrman Trout saying, here's what you're gonna do. You're, you're not gonna unfollow the page. You're not gonna post anything for 24 hours. Then you're gonna select the funniest meme related to it that you saw, and you're gonna post, wow, that was a funny day. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it as much as I did, and you're gonna repost the meme. And I was like, dude, that is, that is what Mike Ehrmantraut would say. He's a fixer, that's what he does. I don't think he should have had to unfollow the account. Maybe now, maybe he wanted to unfollow the account. But I, I think if he just toughed it out for like two days, people would have been like, okay, so he's in defeat, whatever, who cares? He, he should have followed more accounts, exactly. Man needs a private? He's 60 years old, just let him be like, he's not even being horny on me. Like he's not making posts that are like, ooh, delicious feet. Can I buy, like, used socks? He's just like, you know, just a 60-year-old man who likes seeing feet in shoes or whatever. Like, he's 60. Let him, let him load up a, you know, a foot fetish page on his phone. But again, I, I'm kind of like, it's a false dilemma, because literally everybody said the same thing. Everybody was like, leave this poor man alone. Let him get excited by feet if he wants to. You're not leaving him alone? I mean, I am leaving him alone. I'm saying he shouldn't care. Or people, well, I'm saying he shouldn't care. I'm saying people shouldn't care. I'm saying people are strange when you're a stranger. 